Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna learn about a particular feature of Burpshoot that is macros. So Burpshoot offers a powerful feature called macros, which allows us to automate a series of action. So the reason that it is so important is if you know how to set up a macros, you can easily set macros and avoid CSRF token, add OAuth token, add OAuth headers into the request. So this will allow you to efficiently test a web application or an API. So let's assume you're testing an API and uh, the session token or the bearer token is expiring in every one minute or two minutes. So rather than copying it again and again from Postman, you can just set up macros and in every request you make, a new bearer token will be fetched. So this will prevent your session token or bearer token from getting expired and you'll be able to test that uh, API efficiently. So in this example, we're gonna be setting up a CSRF token macros and I'll also show you guys how you can add uh, the CSRF token in the header and we'll not be using any extensions for this. So a lot of people handle this issue by installing a new extension or some stuff like that, like uh, adding new extensions or like adding new softwares. But the truth is you don't need anything. You can just set it up on Burpshoot and let's try that. So let me just show you guys. Uh, I'm using this lab as an example because this implements a good CSRF functionality into the login here as you can see so on the login page if we navigate to let's say we open a browser and in the burp suit we, we are seeing this interception I'll turn the interception off and uh, on the slash login button, you can see this CSRF and uh, yeah, so whenever you log in here, you'll need to use a CSRF token, right? So let's say if I use administrator and uh, you're using this, right? And if I log into the web application and uh, if we check the login request and send it to the Peter, it will not work most probably. And uh, this is giving us an error uh, that is invalid CSRF token. So the reason that this skill set is so important and this video is so important is if you are testing a web application that implements a CSRF token like this, you won't be able to test it completely without setting up uh, macros, right? It will be harder for you to like every time update the CSRF token manually. So. We're also going to learn how we can use this token even if it's uh, using headers in the request and uh, let's let's try setting up this CSRF token macros first. So yeah, mm, for this uh, we're going to navigate to proxy and uh, we'll go to proxy settings and then sessions. In the sessions we are going to add a new rule. And in the rule action, we're gonna add uh, run a macro. And uh, yeah, so the parameter name is uh, CSRF here. So in this macro rule, we're gonna add this particular parameter, update only the following parameters. And as you can see, the CSRF token is going into this parameter, right? So update only CSRF parameter, uh, we did that. And after that, we are gonna click here and select add a macros. So a macro recorder menu will open up. And here you have to select the request which contains the CSRF token, right? So for our case, it is uh, get slash login. And this is giving us the CSRF token there, right? So we're gonna select this request. We're gonna click OK. We're gonna configure the item and uh, we're gonna add a uh, custom parameter locations in response we will add this and uh, we'll add the parameter name that is csrf extracted value is not url encoded and uh, okay so yeah this is pretty much easy to do you can also use a regex if you want and you can also start an offset so what I'm gonna do is like you just need to highlight 
this. So if you highlight it like this, it will automatically take it, uh, like start after expression this and that delimiter this. You can use this or you can use offset as well. So yeah, uh, let's say we use this and click OK and then click OK. Fine, click OK and yes. Now it's saying the rule is not in scope for any URLs. So we have to set the rule for this and uh, you can do anything like uh, you can just uh, you can add this and so whenever this rule will be applied whenever there is this domain. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just select OK, uh, click OK, and yeah, we are pretty much done. Now let's see if the rule we, that we have added here in the sessions is working correctly. Right, so let's just say now it's updating a different thing because we didn't set the offset correctly. But the good thing is that the rule is working. So now we know where we messed up and we'll just go to sessions. We'll go on macro and we'll just click edit, configure item, edit. And uh, after editing this, we'll just use start from this expression to that. And this should work. Okay, okay, okay. And then this is, yeah. Now we're not getting the CSRF token error message and any CSRF token will be automatically updated here. So let's test it once again and it's giving us 302. So yeah, you can check how it's working on our repeater tab and uh, so let us assume this might be an OAuth header token and you need to send this as a authorization header or a bearer or something like that so what i've seen is a lot of people using ador or, or like custom header extensions to achieve this functionality uh, but if you want to actually use it you can just go to the session tab. you can just edit the macros here and like in this macro uh, you'll just click on configure item uh, and you'll click edit and it's saying uh, CSR ref and uh, what you can also do here is as you can see you have selected this parameter name and everything is already set now you're gonna just click OK and in the session rules you'll just add a scope and uh, we'll go to the details tab on this macro and edit this and in the CSRF just add like let's say we want to add it as a authorization header so just click authorization and like we have saved this parameter as you can see click ok ok so the way it functions is if there is any parameter or a header it will be updated automatically right so if I add a, a header that is authorization that we just added in the session rules and click send now it's not working right so but if we add csrf it's working and on authorization it's not working that is because we added it on the session but we didn't add it on the macros right uh, so we'll just go and select the macro we'll just select here configure item here We'll just add here and uh, let's say we have to use authorization parameter right and uh, now we'll just highlight it uh, like what was the token that we were fetching just highlight this uh, start this and like keep these settings and or you can also use regex you can write your own regex here for sake of argument let's just use this at the moment and click ok authorization this parameter is already added here and we have already set the rule of session to add uh, authorization and csrf parameter now if we go to repeater tab and uh, click send 
as you can see it's getting updated so yeah the reason for making this video is that uh, a lot of people achieve this by running extensions and using extensions but uh, i would say you should like think twice before using extensions as it just fills up your memory right so if i enable this extension some memory is filled and if you are using extensions where you are not required to use them you might fill up the memory and this will lead on to crashing your burp suit or like lagging a lot and some delays so yeah you don't need any extension to set up a macros and you can configure rules pretty easily just in case if something goes wrong let's say you tried adding a macros and it's not working right so a good functionality that i like here is if you go to pro proxy settings and uh, select sessions you can open a session tracer uh, this is like open sessions tracer in the sessions tab you can click here after opening this session handling tracer you can navigate to repeater and to see this menu right and click on send right so it will tell you what's happening and what's exactly happening so you can debug your macros uh, so like if we check this it's applying our session rule our session rule states to run macro one it's processing this request and it's updating the cookie from the request added one cookie from macro response to cookie jar updated parameter csrf in current request from final macro response so you can check out like what is exactly updated so the csrf token is updated but authorization header is not and in the next event authorization header is also updated update one cookie and current request from cookie jar and then this is the final issued request right this is the request and yeah this is a very short video but yeah i want you guys to not use extensions for simple things okay thank you guys uh if you like the video subscribe to my channel thank you so much